Hello and welcome back to another Tartan Talk Tuesday. I know that there was a bit of a hiatus there. I assure you that there won't be that big of a hiatus in the future. I'd like to jump right back into Tartan Talk Tuesday videos for 2017, starting with this one. This week is a bit of a special week in the Scottish culture because tomorrow, January 25th, is Robbie Burns Day. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Robbie Burns Day, Robbie Burns the man himself or anything surrounding Robbie Burns, I did a video last year on all things Robbie Burns and I will leave that link down below so you can go check that out. But given that this week had a pretty historic woman's march, I thought that we would discuss that side of Robbie Burns. Now, in the video that I did last year, I talked a bit about his sort of womanizing ways. He had about three or four women bear his children, different women. Despite him being sort of a womanizer, he was actually famously a big supporter of women's rights, which honestly back in the 1700s was a really big deal and a very rare thing. There was one woman that stood the test of time with Robbie Burns, and that was his wife, Jean Armour. There is a woman named Melanie Murray who has decided to write a book about Jean Armour. The book is called Should Auld Acquaintance, The Woman Behind Robert Burns. She is quoted as saying, Jean Armour greatly assisted him in his central works, which was collecting and revising all the old Scottish songs. I think she's very much a collaborator in this work, and I don't think that she's really been acknowledged as such. She goes on to talk about Jean's loyalty to Robert Burns, despite all of his philandering ways, and also talks about the fact that Jean was definitely a muse for Burns, but wasn't the only muse. She is quoted as saying, he always needed many beautiful young women around him to fire his quill, so to speak. The author, Melanie Murray, at her local Burns dinner, they have decided to start incorporating a new toast. After the toast to the immortal memory of Robert Burns, they are also doing a toast to Jean herself. That book is in stores and online now piece of the week. This week I thought that we would go with a dress I made a few years ago and it's been very popular and it's it's always been one of my favorites. It's the high collar sheath dress shown here in Modern Mackenzie, but of course can be made in any available tartan. I like manipulating the lines of the tartan to really create a lovely shape on a woman's figure and I just think that this dress is very classic and timeless. Tartan of the week. Given that tomorrow is Burns Day, I thought that we would go with the Burns Check. And this tartan was created in memory of Robert Burns. It was sort of fashioned after the Shepherd's Check because Robbie Burns used to have a farm. And it has a lot of different colors in it that are featured in some of his more famous poems. The green for the green fields and the hot and gray and all of these sorts of things. So that is the tartan of the week this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next week for another Tartan Talk Tuesday. Cheers.